What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. I am in a very good mood and very excited because we have an absolute plethora of packs and of products to open, starting with, yes, you saw it in the thumbnail, but these are the Pokeball tins that not only have Evolutions packs in them, no, 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 but they also have Burning Shadows packs, which we could potentially pull that Rainbow Charizard GX from Sun and Moon, which is an absolute, incredibly rare card. So we, without further ado, are gonna get into all of these packs. We could do Vivid Voltage, we could do Shining Fates as well. Little did I know I had built up my Shining Fates ETB collection, so we're looking good, but let's get into it. As I said, we are gonna get into these Pokeballs. I did already open this one just to check and make sure that they had what I thought they had in them. We do have Burning Shadows. Like I mentioned, the best card is that Rainbow Charizard GX Evolutions. X and Y, and a base set Sun and Moon pack. So there are the three packs that come in each Pokeball. And we have, if I could get it out of the bowl, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zerora, I believe, coin right there. Cool, very, very cool. We'll put that first Pokeball to the side. We will start with a Sun and Moon base set pack don't want to dog hoo -hoo, green and white baby i don't want to dog on sun and moon too much because as you can see sun and moon base set has been a very nice a very kind set to us here on bk pokemon card so who knows maybe sun and moon would absolutely give us great thing i would just think base set it's a bigger set it would be harder to pull rare cards so you never know there's a reverse holographic toucan sam and we have a regular rare holographic oran guru let's go with some burning shadows a set that we have not opened very much if at all here on the channel, um, very cool set. Uh, the best card is obviously that Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. For those of you who don't know, that's gonna be the same artwork as the hidden, not shining, the Hidden Fates set Charizard GX, which is a shiny Charizard. This one is just a Rainbow Hyper Rare. I've seen people open hundreds and hundreds of packs of Burning Shadows to not pull that card. So if we were to even get close to pulling that card, it would be an absolute move of God, a miracle. Um, but let's see what we have. Oh, okay, so we have a regular holographic Bioplume. Not too shabby, not bad at all. And here we go with Evolutions, one of my absolute favorite sets, a reprint of those original cards of the original artwork do not fret or worry about a green code card because we could still pull three is the trick we could pull a reverse holographic charizard and do very very well with that so we've got a charmeleon professor oaks hint nidorino the wheedler <laughs> machop tangela We've got Vulpix, we're coming up soon. There's an energy. What do we have for our reverse? We've got a break card. Breaking news, we've got a break card. It is a King gold break card. Not the biggest fan of break cards, but this is very, very cool. We've been on a King hot streak and we've got a regular rare electrode, so that is really, really not too bad at all. And let's move on. I did open two. Okay, I opened two. Not the packs, but I just took the plastic off to make sure that they all had the same packs in there. I didn't want to say, 
Oh, burning shadows, evolutions, and then open them up and it's just garbage. I've had that happen. And this one we have a Volcanian coin. Nice, not too bad. We will do our same order. We'll go with the sun and moon. See what we can get from the nice sun and moon packs. Here is the code card. And we will do a card trick of one, two, three, and four. I declare a thumb war. Fairy energy is the move. RIP for the fairy energy. Crushing hammer. We've got a charge a bug. Whew, one of my least favorite Pokemon ever, especially from the sun and moon era. Growlithe, Rog, and Rolla, baby. Cosmog, we have a rare candy, and we have pulled a rare holographic mushroom that is on mushrooms. Burning Shadows. Can we do it? Take a deep breath. It's not a big deal. Don't stress. Don't fret. Burning Shadows is not looking to be nice to us here. Who knows? We've got a dark energy. We have Sophocles, whatever. Simipore, Mudbray. Sophocles, whatever, by the way, was so annoying to beat in Sun and Moon. Uh, I beat him but he was so, so annoying. Just the whiny kid who whined and cried and was annoying. We've got a reverse rare Ladian, not too bad. And a Slow King enjoys coconuts on the beach. So that's very nice. Here is the main attraction, a beautiful looking evolutions pack with a code card right there. And we will do one, two, three is the card trick. And we start out with a Charizard Spirit Link Trainer. We've got Poliwhirl, Maintenance, Electabuzz, one of my favorites, Ratata. I've always thought he was like on some onions or something. I don't know what's going on with Ratata in that. We've got Growlithe. We have a Nidoran. We have a Vulpix. I love Evolutions. We have Poliwrath. A rare reverse hollow evolutions is loving us today. That's very nice. And full art mega pitch yacht has been pulled. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Now, let me say this we pulled mega pitch yacht. We've had a mega pitch yacht promo, but not at all have we pulled the full art mega. Pidgeot card, and that is a beauty. What a great, great pull from Evolutions. Thank you, Evolutions, for coming through. Very, very dope. Very dope. I, I just wanted to say that because you may say, well, I watched your other Evolutions video. You had a Mega Pidgeot. Yes, it was the promo card in a Kanto Power Box. Then, in one a little further back, if you're an OG, Sam pulled a Mega Pidgeot, just the regular artwork card. That is the full art. It's the rarest of the Mega Pidgeot cards. So that is very, very cool. Love that. Here's a great reason why to open this plastic before the video. Didn't even think about this. It's just kind of messy. There we go. There we go. No more plastic on the Ultra Ball. And we have the same packs. Thank God, because I didn't check this one. Burning Shadows, Evolution, Sun and Moon. These Pokeballs are hitting hard. Slappers, we've got Volcanon again. And we will start with the Sun and Moon base set pack again. Here's the code card. And we will do a card trick of four. For that, let's guess Fire and it's Metal. And how, don't know if I say that right. Dartrix, Pokeball, regular Pokeball, Skarmory. We've got Poliwag in Yoshi's Yarn World. Eevee looking real strange. Crabrawler, Stoutland, get away from me. Cloyster and that, oh, Stoutland was the reverse. Okay, Cloyster is the regular rare burning. Shadows, give us the, mm. 
Give us the craziest luck we've ever had, Burning Shadows. Let's get a Rainbow Charizard GX. Come on, Burning Shadows, be nice to us. There's our fire energy from the last guest that I gave. Electric, Bouffalant, Semipore, Horsey, Cutifly. We've got Ladybug to go with the Ladian from earlier, and Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Pansage, and nothing but a nice Heracross. Shout out, Clay. I'll give you this card. That's very, very cool. My best friend's favorite Pokemon is Heracross, and that is the first Heracross that I've pulled on the channel. So love it, love it, love it when we pull Heracross. Let's go Evolutions. Card trick is three. Evolutions, please love me. Machoke, there we go. I love it. Starting off strong with a full heal. Venusaur Spirit Link, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu, there's a Staryu, Onyx, what else do we have? Weedler, we have Machop, how close are we to the back? I have no idea. We've got an Energy as a reverse card, and oh boy, what do we have here? Mega Pidgeot EX, this must be a common one. This is the one that Sam pulled, so we have doubled up on the Mega Pidgeot EX. Sam pulled this card. This is my first ever Evolutions double up. That's the full art. So this card right here is the one you want. This one's way more common, but still very cool. A cool pull. And Evolutions has really been the set that's treating us well. We'll go ahead and put those pulls there. Nobody else has really done much for us. Sun and Moon, eh. Burning Shadows, been absolutely non-existent. And let's see if it is possible to get this Pokeball open here. Come on, man. Come on. Be nice to us. I gotta open these off camera, maybe. I don't know. It's just kinda hard to open. Okay, come on, plastic. What is, <laughs> what's going on? Look at this, it's just a mess. You just have to scratch it. Scratch that bad boy. All right, all right, all right. Gotta cut this out. Opening up this Pokeball was a pain in the butt. All right, let's see. And yes, indeed, we do have the same packs in these glorious Pokeballs. Been absolutely incredible, Zero Aura there so we have doubled up on both coins from these pokeballs let's see if burning shadows or sun and moon want to yield any sort of pulls for us that would be cool sun and moon yield us a pull but i'd rather burning shadows just because okay uh water and energy lightning i'd rather burning shadows because that rainbow charizard would be absolutely psychotic if we pulled them, we've got Pettis, Chinchow, Alolan Ratata, Roggenrola, Marini, Crab Roller, and nothing but Toucan Sam from Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows, see what we can do. It's a rough day to be opening Sun and Moon packs, apparently, but hey. Maybe we will get lucky. Water and it's metal again. We've got Kawhi, Leonard, Semi Seer. We've got Heatmore. There he is. Stuffle, Crab Rawler, Morlull, Sandcastle, Venipede. Okay, Reverse Tormenting Spray. That's not fun. And whole lot of nothing with the Electivire, but that. It's okay, not a big deal, sun and moon. We're still friends. Evolutions, the main attraction for the Pokeballs. Can we get something beautiful? Let's see what damage is to be done. Three is the card trick. And Venusaur Spirit Link is the opening act. Drowsy. We have Caterpie, Doduo, P. 
Pikachu with the yellow cheeks. We love it. Machop. There is, what the heck? Okay, and a Mewtwo, wonderful. But what the heck is up with the same pulls? Nido King Break has decided to hang out with us twice. Look, I'm all out of these beautiful Pokeballs, but fret not, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Packs. We are not going to stop here. We're going to keep on keeping on opening up such a fun and beautiful set, I might add, one of my absolute favorite sets of Pokemon cards of all time with the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Packs. Fire Energy, it's metal. Gotta start saying metal. Oh my goodness. We have the Drone Rotom. We have Swoop. There it is, Bat. Can't grab these for nothing. We've got the Loud. We've got Pineco, Clefairy, Tynemo. If I said Sun and Moon when I was supposed to say Sword and Shield, sorry about that. I am obviously multitasking and having a great time while doing it with a reverse Hollow Thunderous and a regular Nobody Mudsdale. But Vivid Voltage, obviously a Sword and Shield set. Absolutely love this set. It's so much fun. Um, has some of the best cards that I've ever seen. I love the artwork. I really, man, I'm telling you, I need to pull a Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. It's literally, I'm trying to think, my chase cards, I think it's my last chase card in Vivid Voltage. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth continuing to buy packs to try and pull that card. To me, I don't buy singles really, unless it's just old and I'm not gonna buy the packs. Like there's some singles at my local card store, full art Intay, full art Groudon, that I'm just like, I don't know that I'm gonna go through black and white packs, or I can't really afford to go through black and white packs right now. Um, so it'd be much smarter to spend like 80 bucks on like an Intay show it to you guys, have it in a video, feature it, growl on water, nope, psychic, growl on, something like that. Um, then to be like, oh, we're gonna chase this card from 14 years ago, and man, me just go broke, you know? So anyways, I don't really buy singles, especially with something like Vivid Voltage, I'm still finding it here and there at Walmart. It's been really, really fun um, finding it at Walmart ever since Target abandoned the card industry and decided that they were going to stop putting Pokemon cards and sports cards on shelves and do all that. So Walmart has been getting all the stock here locally, which is cool. Um, so I've been finding Vivid Voltage and all that and really just enjoying the hunt. Anyways, so yeah, pulling that Rainbow Pikachu is worth it to me to keep buying packs. And it's just fun. Obviously, I want content to enjoy and share with you guys, but I also want to have the thrill and the reaction of pulling it on camera. I just think, especially after talking about it for months and months, I think it would be super, super cool uh, to just share that experience. Anyways, enough about Rainbow Pikachu. We are opening Vivid Voltage, and good Lord, we have been struggling. This is like five packs deep and it's just been green, green, green code card. I try to open the code card off camera, <laughs> a little slick, just so that we cannot be disappointed by a pack, so that we can enjoy the artwork and the cards no matter what. Also, green code cards don't mean skip ahead and not watch this pack because we could pull an amazing rare at any moment from a green code card pack. Anyways, I'm just like, don't, don't ruin someone's pack or experience by showing the code card early and saying like, oh, your pack sucks. We need packs with code cards that are the same. No matter what, it's this code card. That's what I think. Fighting Energy to start us off. Aromic, we've got Mighty Enna, Pinurchin, the Char, Whoop, there it is, Galarian Meowth, Cottony, oh boy, Aracuda. Crocorock and a holographic Tornadus to join our reverse holographic Tornadus. Sometimes I forget to open the code card off camera, but look, 
It is what it is. We're all learning and enjoying this journey together. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm getting up early. I can't wait. I'm going to hit, I already know, okay? This is planned out. I'm going to hit a beautiful, healthy Chick-fil-A breakfast with a large vanilla iced coffee. Shout out Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go to Walmart and see if I can grab Hidden Fates, Please God, or Canto Power Boxes of Evolutions, Vivid Voltage, more of these Pokeballs, something wild. And then I'm going to turn around and go to another Walmart and just see if we can load up for the channel. It would be such a good time, so much fun. Um, and yeah, so that is what I am looking forward to doing in the morning with my Friday morning, all before work. So get up early and enjoy your day. Metal Energy, Rocky Helmet it is. We've got Garvantula, a Swellow, a Woo Bat, Beldum, Blitzel, Milsery. We've got Skiddo, Telescopic Sight. Can we get something from this pack? We've got a Zapdos regular holographic. We will keep going. These are a little like stuck together from pulling them out of like individual hanging packs. But we will continue on. We've got a little bit more time on our hands to open vivid voltage packs and just keep hanging out looking for another celebi amazing rare for sure would love to pull one of those um looking for rainbow rare pikachu obviously there's some trainers we haven't pulled i don't really want to i think i've said it before i'm really not um the biggest trainer card fan i'm not really looking for trainer cards i just love the pokemon but anyways who knows if we pull it, I'm gonna be happy. I mean, I I think, oh dude, I spilled I spilled Coke on myself a couple nights ago, and I was like, ooh, this pack's like a little sticky. And it's freaking Coke. There's Coke on the outside of it. Oh gosh, okay. It's made my hands a little bit sticky. Um, but right now, bearable. Um, I don't know, whatever. I think they're a little sticky from Coke, and that's kind of freaking gross. All right. That is <laughs> That's gross. I don't like that. I don't like Coke. I mean, I like Coke. Whoa, what am I saying? I'm going crazy. I love Coke. I don't like dried up sticky Coke that I spilled two nights ago. Okay, fan feet, whatever. We're going to keep going. Dust School. We've got a Ruamphoros V with the ultra rare pull right there. And... I'm gonna just try not to touch the outside of this pack because this is the sticky one, of course, with the rare in it. Is the sticky one? Oh boy, I'm sorry. It's 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 everywhere. I'm trying to like I'm trying to I'm trying to get it on my fingers, but I don't want to stop opening cards. We have water energy ahead of us, something in the back because it was a green. And white. I'm falling apart. It was a green and white code card. Moo Moo Cheese, Dewat, Oshawott, Duskull, Phariseed, Riolu, Sandile, Regirock. Please give us something beautiful. And it's just a holographic Regirock, which I don't even think I've pulled. I kind of forgot Regirock was even in this set. Did anyone else? Did anyone else forget about Regirock entirely? Okay, we've got a code. We are getting through and away with the stickiness. Thank goodness there is metal energy. And drone Rotom, Swoo, Excadrill, Fanfi, Tuskel, Electrike, Pineco. Give us an amazing rare. Ooh, we are due a pull, guys. We are due a pull. I don't care what you say. We're due a pull. There's not a doubt in my mind. We are due a pull. Here's the code card. Okay, it's going to be green as soon as I put it on camera. Whatever. Skip ahead if you want to miss this amazing rare uh, Rayquaza that's in this pack. I'm just going to guess. We've got Leaf Energy. Maybe it'll be Celebi then. The one I want. Shuckle, but probably not. Trumbeak. All right. Riolu. Sandile. Whalmer. Weedle. Beldum, ooh, no amazing rare, and Alchemy right there. We're gonna finish it up with five more Vivid Voltage. This has been half a booster box, and our pulls so far have been 
very light. Hopefully that will change in the future as we continue to just trek through Vivid Voltage, enjoy this set, look for these chase cards. There's a Lightning, we've got Wash, Surchester Bath, Electrike, Pineco, Mudbray, Hooch, Charmander, such a good card. I love the artwork for that one. And Fortress, man, it has been dry as far as vivid voltage pulls, but as we have seen in the past, that is apt to change at any given moment. Um, let's go fighting energy. Yes, sir. I like it a whole lot. I like it a lot. Stunfisk, Coating, Dedene, Drill, Osh, Dusk, Ferroseed, Stunfisk, and can we get something in this pack? Come on, baby. Holographic Leon might as well have been Fortress for me. Might as well have been a green code card for me there. And we have another code, one, two, three, and four. And let's see what we have. We've got the Swoo, we've got Laudrid, Zeb, Yanma, whoop, there it is, Dedene, Pinky Peck, Choodle, Swoobat, and nothing in this one, two. Vivid Voltage Packs to go. Go ahead, I haven't said it the whole video. Leave a like if you haven't already, please do. Let's try and get this awesome opening up to, I don't know, 50 likes would be crazy for us here on the channel, but I just feel like that number should continually go up. So let's shoot for 50 likes and see what we can do in these last couple packs. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It goes such a long way. I love and enjoy your support and am working my butt off to put out really good content and just enjoy this together. So please do consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. And maybe we have a pull headed our way. You are kidding me. Double down on the Ampharos. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic with the code throwing away the wrapper card trick is four and we are diving into water nope fire mm, wonderful fire energy to finish up this opening we've got the drone the shop the pooch the volt sorb rock rough Talo, can we get anything Ooh, terecki in reverse and vaporeon Always nice to pull an evolution. Let's have a recap, guys. All right, Pidgeot EX Full Art was the best pull of the video. What a beautiful card. Super excited to have pulled this, to have it in my collection. We also did pull the Mega Pidgeot EX. Doubled down twice on the Nidoking Gold Break card, which is cool. Not mad at it at all. We also did pull a really, really nice reverse hollow Polyrath, as well as a rare Mewtwo and two, count them, two Ampharos V cards. But all in all, really fun video, great pulls. Hope that you enjoyed right here on BK Pokemon Cards. Please do leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel. It means so much to me and the community and I really appreciate it. We're just gonna keep having awesome videos, great pulls. So please consider subscribing to the channel and as always, I will catch you in the next video very soon.